Good morning, everybody out there. We are doing a webcam comparison here. So we have the JLab on that side, right in the middle. We have the Anchor C302. And over on that side, we have the Logitech MX Brio camera. But let me bring in the folks from Amazon and then we will continue the show here. Good morning. Good morning, everybody out there in Amazon land. And we're on LinkedIn and we are also on YouTube as well. So welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. I'm Ryan. Today, as you can see, we have a little bit of a web camera test going on here. So in the middle right here is the AnchorWork C30, the AnchorWork PowerConf C302 web camera. And all three of these web cameras are sitting right on top of my monitor in front of me. So they are, they all pretty much have an equal setup. They're all about two inches, maybe three inches. The center, the center camera portion of them are about three inches apart from each other on top of my desk. So you're kind of get the room has the same lighting in all different scenarios. Let me adjust this one there to bring those back and so this kind of gives you a little bit of a difference of what does how does one camera compare against another camera and i i think this is kind of cool but yeah so i have the anchor power comp c302 right in the middle john paul started following over on amazon thank you john paul for hitting that follow button over on the I got to get my arrows correct. This direction over here, that is the Epic Cam from J Labs. So if you're interested in that one, that one is new to me. This actually, that one and the one on the other side uh, are new to me this week, but that's the one from J Lab. And that one is on sale. Uh, what is the price point on that? Actually, I should bring up the Amazon chat in the others on one of my other screens so that I can see what's going on on Amazon. Uh, yeah, that JLab Epic Cam, that one's on sale for $84 uh, this week. So that's kind of a, a budget-friendly uh, web camera that actually, I think it does a pretty good job. I would give it this, of the web cameras that I have currently set up, I think that one is probably the easiest to use. Uh, the settings for it, the brightness and the darkness and the zoom in, zoom out, there are buttons on top of the camera. And here I can I can probably even show you. There are buttons on top of the camera right here. That's for brightness. That's for zoom. So you don't have any software to install. You just turn on the camera and it works. And if you've watched any of my shows or tuned into these before, I put a high bar and high value on just simple ease of use. And I'm a big fan of the, the J lab Epic cam for just being very, very easy to use. And then let's jump over to the far side on the Logitech MX Brio, which is way over there. It is this one right here. I will tell you so far, I think this one has the best picture of all of them, but I've been struggling to get it to remember my field of view. And it's, I think they're still working on some software issues with it and it has some updates and it has only been out for a couple of weeks, but I've been struggling to keep that field of view at the close field of view. See, I, it just, it keeps going back there. See, it's zoomed in right now. It is zoomed in. When I click on another screen, it takes away that zoom and that part of it 
has been driving me bonkers uh, the last couple of days with the with the Logitech MX Brio web camera. So I that's a little bit of my thoughts, but I'm going to go back to just one camera here. I'm going to use the uh, the JLab Epic Cam for a little while. And I'm going to figure out where I should stand to get this all in the right place. But thanks for being here. I am Ryan. I do one of these shows Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning. So stop by sometime and let me know any questions you have. Some of the things I like to talk about is remote work gear. So I talk a little, a little bit about uh, microphones, web cameras, headsets, earphones, uh, desks, chairs, printers, paper shredders, Wi-Fi connection devices, a lot of things you might need for a home office or for remote working. Uh, I do also plan sometime later on in one of my later shows to spend some time talking about travel gear and specific things you need when you travel. Plus, for some reason, uh, I have a number of men's electric shavers and I do like to talk about those. So those make an appearance on just about every show. So if you have questions on men's electric razors, please stop by. But I have to get to the question of the day here. And I am using, I, I don't think I mentioned this before, but I am using, today I'm using the uh, Blue Yeti microphone. It's sort of the classic microphone that a lot of creators, a lot of podcasters, a lot of people just have and start with. Also, just a lot of remote workers have it because it's a nice sounding microphone. So this is the Blue Yeti, the classic one. I do have the newer uh, Blue Yeti GX microphone that has RGB lights on it, but I'm not using that. I decided to go back to the Blue Yeti because I don't think the Blue Yeti's been on the show in a few episodes. So I brought it back today. Anyhow, that is that. I need to get to my question of the day and I don't even know if I have a question of the day. I got to check my notebook because I sometimes write down future questions of the day in my notebook. I probably should have put my notebook, my rocket book in the carousel today because that's a standard item that I use almost every day uh, on my desk. Okay. Whoa. Forgot what I was doing. Question of the day. I even had a question of the day before I came downstairs. So uh, normally I get up at roughly 7.30 when I get out of bed. Today I didn't get out of bed till almost till like 8.33. And so that's why my show was a little bit late. Here's the thing. My show is almost always late. And I tried to get it here at 845 and it just never happens. So I apologize for that. Uh, <laughs> Joanna stopped by over on Facebook, not on Facebook, on YouTube saying, ignore me. I just typed, did you ever go live? And well, here I am. I am live. Yes, I did make it live today. All right. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Just be prepared, but don't expect it. <laughs> yeah. So my live shows, they usually happen Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but they don't always happen at 845 or at nine. Today, I think it was 907 before I actually got live, but I, I tried. Actually, no, it would have been 905. 905 is when I went live this morning, but I, I try. To get out here. Eventually, I get live every morning. And I now need to think that I need to update my date back here. March 22nd. Fun fact about me. I have a brother. Actually, I have three brothers. But one of my brothers has a birthday today. So, I got to send him a text to tell him good morning and happy birthday. So... I will try to do that when our show is done. <laughs> Joanna says, you're here. You're here. That counts. Hey, 
I eventually made it live. So thanks, Joanna, for stopping by. And thanks for being on YouTube as well. YouTube. I, so, Joanna, we are out here. I know sometimes you tune in on YouTube. Sometimes you tune in on Facebook. Sometimes you tune in on Amazon. Which is your favorite platform to tune in to the live stream? I'm not live on Facebook today. I go live on Facebook on Wednesdays. Maybe I need to switch that and I need to go live to all these places all the time, but I just haven't done that yet. A lot of things to work on and to do here. And I never got that question of the day out here. Uh, and I can't remember what I was going to ask. Oh, I know what I was going to ask. I don't know if this is going to be helpful for anybody out here as far as a question or if you guys are going to have any helpful advice for that. <laughs> Joanna, I'm a bot. You're not a bot, but uh, I would like to know which platform you prefer and why you like it better. My question of the day is, so if you ever tune into the show, I have a pretty plain wardrobe. I typically wear like a sweatshirt with some t-shirt underneath it. Uh, usually it's a navy blue. Sometimes it's a black one. I used to have a gray one and a light blue one. I don't know. Uh, I thought maybe I just need to make myself some t-shirts and actually write some funny words and some funny text across the t-shirts. I could sell the t-shirts on Amazon because I can make custom shirts on Amazon and put anything on them and that I want to. I could wear them. I thought that'd be fun, but I thought, what should I put on my t-shirt? Maybe I could put like a live streamer on it. I could put welcome to my show. I don't know. I actually like the idea. Welcome to my show. That's kind of funny. Although maybe that could be interpreted differently. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Joanna says, I seem to be the talker, so the only difference is I can't give you stars or look for coupons if you're not on Amazon. So Amazon does have that. If you want to buy the products and you're on Amazon Live, Amazon Live makes it really easy to click and buy those products. If you are on, uh, you can also give me stars and stuff on Amazon Live if you like the show. You can heart it, I think. But on YouTube, you can click the like, you can comment underneath it. Uh, it, it's just not as easy to buy the products, but it's out there. It'll work. Uh, Joanna says question and answer shirts. Yes, I do have those. So for those that have never seen one of my question and answer videos, I designed a t-shirt that says question. It's red and I have a blue one that says answer. And so I wear these in some of my short videos where I ask specific questions and then I answer those questions and it's kind of fun. I need to make another one of those videos maybe this weekend. I also have a shirt that says shaver dude because when I make shaver review videos, I wear that shirt because I created a entirely separate YouTube channel just for shaver dude stuff. So I have a couple of custom shirts, but I don't wear those for my live show. And maybe I should, but I typically don't. I, I need some different shirts to wear for my live shows here. Uh, Jonah says they're the red, blue shirts. Uh, white, right? Oh, red, blue shirts with the white writing. <laughs> you can rhyme, though. I I must have said something that rhymed. You pay attention. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. Dano is here. Oh, Dano, I missed your comments. They didn't come up on my 
on my phone that was sitting here. Uh, yeah, Dan, I haven't even looked outside today. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, so here, Dano is over on Amazon saying hello to me and Joanna. <laughs> and uh, Dano says, hi, Ryan. Did you guys get a bunch of snow yesterday? We got like three to four inches. So Dano, uh, frequent tuner inner of the show. Is that a word? Tuner inner of the show? I just made that up. But uh, Dano is sort of a regular viewer of the show friend of the show i like to call them uh we are state neighbors because i live in south dakota dano lives in minnesota dano got three to four inches snow dano we got a dusting not even enough to cover the whole ground it covers like small portions of the edge of the sidewalk and on top of my car right by the windshield wipers you know there's a little pile of snow there so we didn't really get much snow at all Uh, and <laughs> Dano says, I prefer Amazon because then I can see the, all the products, etc. That maybe makes sense. Yeah. I, uh, now that I think of it, maybe I just need to, what was that funny word that I just came up with, uh, about Dano? He's a, I can't remember now. I'll have to go back and rewatch the video. I could have put that on a shirt, but it wasn't even, it was a word I made up. Dano says, for your shirt put, buy my products, I'm Ryan. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad, buy my products. Uh, Joanna says, hey, Dano, over there. Uh, and here's what Joanna says, maybe I could get a collar. That's that's unlikely, Joanna. Unlikely. Uh I don't know. Maybe I'll think if I come up with a fun enough logo, fun enough. Is that I don't. I'm all about making up phrases in English that is in English today. Uh, so I don't know if I'll if I'll get a collar there. Uh, I don't know what that means. Plus represent. Full meal and print a new iron on label. I, I don't know what that means. Or I could make iron on labels. Oh, yes, you used to have iron on labels. Uh, pick me, pick me. I don't know what that means either. Uh, it was a fun idea. All right. Daniel says, uh, good. Glad you didn't have to shovel. We're supposed to get even more snow on Sunday. We are supposed to get snow through the weekend. Uh, we didn't get a ton of snow this weekend, but when we did get snow, uh, I have teenage boys that I just made go, uh, shovel the driveway for me. So yeah, I'm careful not to do that anymore. And shoveling the driveway. I maybe did shovel once when I had like an eighth of an inch of snow. I cleared it off. But yeah, so for those of you who don't remember, I did a live snow shoveling show last winter and it the show went fine. But after the show, I went to the doctor for heart attack symptoms because there was just too much snow. It turned out I was not having a heart attack, but I had to get a whole bunch of tests run. I'm okay. But yeah. I shouldn't shovel a lot of snow. Marco is here. Good morning. Good morning, Marco. Marco said, did someone say food? Uh, I don't know. Did I don't think anybody did, but <laughs> maybe. Dano says, uh, t-shirt idea, don't make me shovel. Not sure it's really good for the show, though. <laughs> no, it's not. I the Buy my products. Sure, it's kind of funny. Or I, I, I think you meant these on one shirt, buy my products. I, or it could be like the shirt that just says, hi, I'm Ryan, could be kind of a funny shirt. Like it would be pretty easy to wear on a live stream. <laughs> Joanna, Joe English, I, I don't know. 
Uh, Fomio makes label printers. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> Showing his food for thought or something going on. With that. Anyhow, Mr. Marco, thanks for stopping by. Marco and I used to do a live show together. Uh, the whole amazing show. Someday, someday it may come back. May come back, but thanks for stopping by, Marco. How are you doing? How have you been? Uh, Marco says, How are things there? Sunny day at that side of the Atlantic. So, Marco is in Portugal over in Europe. He's not on vacation, he lives there. He gets to live in Portugal. I know the rest of us are slightly jealous, but Marco, it snowed where Dano is. Dano's not too far from me. Uh, we got not really enough snow to cover up the ground, but there's some snowflakes falling out of the sky. So it's cold here. Snow, cold weather. We're supposed to get more snow the rest of the weekend. I think a couple of inches I'm supposed to get, like by the end of the weekend, maybe three-ish inches, something like that. Marco says, 26 degrees Celsius here. And I'll just do a quick conversion for us. That means almost 78 degrees fahrenheit almost 80 degrees marco that's that makes the rest of us slightly jealous of your weather uh joanna came back over to amazon here wait you're jealous i know i'm jealous i made it <laughs> hey mr play it cool i think she's talking to mr marco there okay whoo I now need to get out to the to the other products that I have because I do have uh, some product things to talk about. We already did the web camera comparison. That's kind of how we started off the show. Uh, Joanna says Marco likes the gels where he does. He does. Marco Marco also likes it when I say backpack, backpack. Because I used to talk about backpacks a lot on the uh, show, and Marco always got a kick out of that. But that's all right. Most of the things Marco says, uh, we all get a kick out of because he has that Portuguese accent. And those of us here in the middle of the United States just get a kick out of the way that Marco says most things. Like the way he can roll his R's and that we can't over here. I don't know. It's cool. So, yeah, Marco, uh, yeah, you talk cool. We'll just leave it at that. Dano says most t-shirt ideas, just shred it or just shave it since you talk about shavers and shredders. I got to write some of these down. I got to write some of these down, Dano, because these, these are these are not terrible ideas here. Writing these down. I don't know if I will use any of these ideas, but I'm thinking about that. Uh, Margo, I'm one of a kind. Yes, you are. Do you want to hairs, not ears, or the ears, not hairs, or the other way around? I don't know what that's all about. Uh, Joanna, uniquely with you, you have options now. I do have some options for different shirts and different things I could print on a shirt. I just thought it would be kind of fun to have different things on a shirt. Joanna says, is rolling ours? Yes, Marco can do that. I, many of us not from one of those countries where they typically do that. We just can't do it as well. Or at all. Oh, you love it when he says hair or ear. Yeah. All right. New products. I do have a bunch of new products in the office. Some of them I will talk about today. Some of them will have to wait for next week or even later weeks because there's a lot of new stuff showing up at the office. Some I bought, some companies have sent to me, but 
I'm going to start with one right now. I did order a new HP Office Jet 8135 printer. There's so much stuff in my office, it's kind of a mess, but we're going to we're going to show you this one. It doesn't hasn't even been opened yet. The HP Office Jet 8135 printer. That's the back. I don't know what's the front and what's the back of this box, but here it is. I am going to set this up hopefully over the weekend and get it to work. Uh, I've had the 8015 e printer. <laughs> Marco says, new one printer. And I will tell you, there's another new printer showing up later today. Uh, that one's the HP 8135. I am getting, I believe it's a brother printer a brother laser jet printer is showing up to my office to my home later on today so maybe next week there'll be like a shaver or not a shaver a a printer battle going on on the show maybe i'll test out printers next week that's actually a great idea cuz i'll use my trusty dusty 7255e versus the new ones i've got and we will give a chance to test some of those out. <laughs> Marco says, okay, well done. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> We're even. We're even. Marco talks cool and I have a new printer. I didn't need a new printer, but I like to try them out and test them out so that I can tell other people about them here on Amazon and on other places. <laughs> Dano, printer battle t-shirt. Uh, yes. So if you watch my Amazon videos or my YouTube videos for the shaver stuff, I do a number of shaver battle type videos where I take two shavers and I shave half my face with one and half my face with the other. And then I compare the two and tell you what I think. Yeah. Daniel says, and announce it like they do the robot battles. In the left corner, we have the HP 7255E. See, I can do better than that. Uh, in the left corner, hailing from New Jersey, the HP 8135E printer in gray. And then you got to have fake crowd noise and stuff like that. Yeah, I could do that. That's actually a pretty funny idea for a YouTube style video for a comparison video of the two. I like that. I like it. I like it. But I need to get myself, <laughs> I need to get myself like the referee shirt, the uh, red or black and white striped shirt. That one sometimes has a collar on it. And Joanna would appreciate that if I had a collar. I, I could wear that to announce it, and then I could switch to my different uh, competitors. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, you could do that with the shavers also. Yeah, the referee shirt. This is this is a decent idea, Dano. <laughs> See, I'm like your marketing department. You're trying. You're trying here to be my marketing department. Uh, that actually is a pretty good idea. That could be kind of fun. I, my only problem with that is I think those videos would take significantly longer to create. Maybe they wouldn't, though. I already do the videos sometimes in a number of different takes. This way, I would just have to wear a different shirt and talk a little bit different. You know, I'd have to hype it up for the shaver battle at the beginning. Maybe I need to, like, green screen behind me so it looked like I'm in the middle of an arena. I don't know. I'm going to think about this one, Dano, and see how it pans out. But back to the HP 8135E. It kind of does it all. It even faxes. So it's a printer, copier, scanner, and fax. I don't have anything to fax. I know one guy who has a fax machine. So I may 
I may ask him his fax number and test out whether or not the fax machine works. Yeah. Dano says, wow, that's getting high tech with the green screen. Well, I used to have a green screen. So here is how myself and a lot of other video creators start out uh, when you decide you want to start making videos. You spend a lot of time figuring out what video gear you need, what web camera, what camera do I need, what lights, what microphone do I need so that I sound totally awesome and the best because nobody really likes their own voice when you listen to your own voice. But the truth is you sound like what you sound like and different microphones make you sound a little bit different, but it's still your voice that comes through there. And I think people are just thrown off because what your voice sounds like through speakers or through a television is almost always different than what it sounds like in your head. And it throws people off. So they spend a lot of time on gear, but then once you get a camera and like you start making your videos, once the first thing you need to do or you want to, or I did, was get a green screen. So you get a green screen and then, but my problem with the green screen is they're really cool and they work really well if you have the proper lighting and if you have it set up right. And Marco can maybe uh, relate to some of this because he's had a green screen in the past. Uh, they're really cool when they work well, but sometimes they're just a lot of work and they're trouble and you got to get your lighting set up. Otherwise things just don't look good. And I, I don't know. Uh, Mark always did a much better job with his green screen than I did, but it was, it was just a thing. You start with the green screen and then you realize, you know what, I'm just going to go live and turn on some lights in my office and people can see some of the mess in my office and I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah. So a lot of times people start, they overthink, how do you create your videos? And they're like, oh, if I had a green screen, then I could make myself look like I was at the beach all the time. And, but I don't know. I don't think people really believe you're at the beach anyway. They just know you're using a green screen now. Uh, Dano says, does that take ink cartridges? I hate the color ink cartridges as they always seem to clog. That's why I switched to just black and white printer. This one, if I'm not mistaken, has the color ink cartridges. I believe it has. I haven't opened it up yet, but the 8015E that I had had the black color ink, then the yellow magenta cyan. It had separate ones of each one of those. So I think it's got four different ink cartridges in it. Uh, yeah, and on, on the top, it looks like those are the ink cartridges in there. Maybe HP 923 tells me right here. So I will have to set those up. And I'm sure I'll make a video setting that up and how that all works. So that's the HP 8135E printer. Come back next week and we will have more printer comparisons. Uh, that'll be kind of fun. Over the last year, I did get rid of some of my printers, gave some away, uh, I sold a couple here and there, just so that, just because I didn't use them all and I thought if I'm not going to use them, I might as well you know, let somebody else use them because a lot of them actually still work pretty well. Uh, but I don't need that many. But now that I'm going to do a printer battle, I might need some more again. All right. So that, that was the camera stuff. And I was going to talk about all this earlier in the show and I totally forgot about it. I just got my hands on the new Ring Battery Doorbell Pro. And this is the newest battery, or this is the newest Ring Doorbell. And it just came out weeks ago, not too long ago. Uh, it does have, it's even better than 1080p. It's 1536p uh, HD video. I have not completely set mine up. I did take it out of the box. One nice feature that I found with it. It uses the same battery 
as my spotlight cam pro that I have outside. So that is the, so that is kind of nice for me to have, but here's what it looks like. Well, the ring. Yes. I, I think it looks pretty nice. You can wire it in to the existing doorbell in your house. There are wired connections back there, but you do, you will need, what do they call it? A compatible doorbell transformer to use it with your existing doorbell in your house. I may eventually do that, but initially I don't think I'm going to set that up. Trying to put the battery back in there. So the battery goes underneath that front cover. And there's your Ring Doorbell Pro. Hold on, I think I put that on slightly wrong. There we go. But I think that'll be fun to put together because then I'll have a spotlight camera above my garage and then one above my front door, which is not a long ways away. But I'll tell you what I think it's going to be most helpful for. At night, I don't often... Uh, only one time have I thought someone was maybe looking to cause trouble on my camera and the light turned on and they left. Most of what I catch on my cameras, on my camera out front of my house, is animals, cats, cats and rabbits, pretty much cats and rabbits. Uh, but they seem to run across my driveway in one direction. And then if I had a camera on my on my front door, I could see where the cats and the rabbits go after they get beyond my driveway. So I think that could be kind of fun, but it'll also, it'll be nice to know if I ever want to know who's at my door, I will be able to do that with the ring doorbell pro. So uh, in addition to finding the animals, uh, you can know who's at your door. You can know when packages get dropped off and things like that, or in the middle of the night which doesn't happen very often. People might uh, stop by. Anyhow, I think I'll enjoy having the Ring Doorbell Pro there. And see, I told you I had a new lot of new products and I haven't even gotten a chance to set them all up yet. Uh, I did use the web cameras today, so we're trying that. Here, I, I'm going to switch a web camera. We're going to mix it up a little bit. See, I go back to the MX Brio, but it has the large, huge field of view that I don't really like, and I can't figure out how to set it back down to the smaller field of view. So I'm I'm not going to use that one until I can figure out how to get that fixed. So, and here now we're back on the Anchor C302, but this one has a, it just looks, makes the whole room look brighter. It doesn't make behind me look as dark. And so, depending on who you are, you may or may not like that as much. But another new product that I got. The Amazon Eero Max 7 Wi-Fi. And I'm excited to set this one up and try it out too. I don't know if it'll happen this weekend or if I'll have to wait till next week on this one. But... It's Wi-Fi 7. So I currently have the Eero 6 Plus. So I'm excited to make the jump to the Eero Max 7 to try that out. I think it's going to be kind of cool. I'm curious to know if the Max 7 actually works with my 6 Plus uh, mesh system in my house. I don't know how this is all going to work. I think it's going to be fun to try out. But this is the newest from Amazon in their Wi-Fi set up system and as you can see i haven't even taken off the the pretty glossy cover on it yet eero max 7 you can buy these as a single one of these or they come in packs of two or three if you want to sort of mesh it together 
Yeah. Hopefully, I'll know more about that in the coming days and weeks. Dano says, I have the Ring doorbell, but I have the wired one and not the battery one. I also have Ring cameras. You can link your Ring products together. So, like, if your camera gets triggered, then you can have your doorbell record also. Yeah, I figured I could do that. So, that's I think that's kind of my plan to sort of have them all record at the same time. I Yeah. Anyhow, Eero, Amazon is coming out with new Eero Wi-Fi products. I currently use the Amazon Eero 6 Plus mesh Wi-Fi set up in my house. I've been using that maybe for the last year, year and a half. I don't really have any troubles or any problems with it. I actually really like it. The one issue I had with the Eero 6 Plus, one time uh, overnight, there was an update that occurred on the Eero 6 Plus. And the next morning, the Wi-Fi in my house was painfully slow until I restarted the wi-fi system so i just turned off the power at my router and turned the power back on i just have a power strip there turn it off and on and when the when the eero 6 plus came back together my wi-fi speeds were really fast again but that was the only problem i've had one time in a year and a half that i've had issues with the eero 6 plus which that's a pretty good that's a pretty good ratio so there are just certain products printers and wi-fi routers or one of those things that if you just get one that works when you want it to work, like that's kind of what you want. And printers are that way. You want it to print when you need to print because I've had enough printers to know it is sometimes a pain when you go to print something and your printer doesn't work and it's not connected to Wi-Fi. So you got to restart your printer, but then you got to restart your computer. And pretty soon you spent 20 minutes trying to print this piece of paper that should have taken you 35 seconds. <laughs> Daniel says, we have had some issues with kids in our neighborhood doing ding dong ditch and I've caught them doing it with my cameras. Well, for one, as a kid, you got to know, don't do ding dong ditch at a door at a house that's got a camera in the front of it. Next thing I would say, what do you do with those kids? Uh, as long as they're not vandalizing some things, I don't know. As far as things kids can do wrong, I don't know. It's been in the middle of the night, though, because that can be a problem. Yeah, or late at night. I don't know. As far as as far as things kids can do that cause trouble, that one is on the tamer side of things. But yeah, that's an annoyance. So what do you do? You like complain and tell the kids to stop doing it? I don't know. Yeah, that's one of those. I don't know how you deal with that situation, Dano. Sorry you had to deal with that though, because I can just understand. Sometimes there are issues and you don't know. You don't know how far to escalate these things and how much it matters and where do you go. Uh, all right. I wanted to finish off my... My show with two shavers because they almost always make an appearance, the shavers do. The Braun Series 5. The Braun Series 5 5118 is on sale today. And it is the newer Braun shaver, the newer Series 5. Looks like this. And it has this button right here. Turbo mode, which means it takes your maximum cutting speed up to 25,500 cutting actions per minute. The shaver does have some flex on the top. I'm a big fan of the Braun Series 5 because I think the price is right on it and it gives you a really pretty close shave. And this one is under $100. This one is actually $65.91 today. So a, quite a bargain price. Shaver is a good one. It has the same cutting surface and cutting ability as the Braun Series 7. 
The only difference is the Series 7 has a flexible head. The, the whole head moves. The Series 5, only the cutting surfaces move a little bit. If you had the Series 7, the whole head moves. But other, so the Series 5, you just have to move your elbow and your arm around a little bit more. But I'm a big fan of the Series 5. And this one, I, I love it when the Braun, the new Braun Series 5 goes on sale because it isn't significantly more expensive than the previous Braun Series 5. In all honesty, it might. What is the previous Braun Series 5 price at today? I'm going to look this up real quick because I don't think it's much more expensive. The Braun Yeah. So so here's the deal. The Braun 5118, the newer one is on sale today for 6591. The former Braun 5018, not the 5118, is on sale for 6994. So the new one is like $5 cheaper. And I love that from Braun that they came out with a new product that I think is even a better product than the previous one. But they're largely keeping the prices the same as the older version. So that's the Braun Series 5. Oh, Juliana Kester started following. Juliana, thank you for stopping by over on Amazon. Thanks for being here. One thing I would tell you, Juliana, feel free to jump in the chat anytime and let me know if you have questions. I'm Ryan. I talk about remote work gear and evidently men's electric shavers. So if you got questions on any of that, doesn't even have to be in my carousel. If it falls within that category, feel free to ask me. Uh, I've tried a number of the different products over the years. Dana says, yes, a couple of times the ding dong litch has been ditch has been late. My son's car is in the driveway also and was concerned with vandalizing. Yeah, that is true. Late at night, things get, yeah, I don't know. It's just different. They have escalated in other neighborhoods. Plus they have done it to multiple homes and have young kids and doing late freak outs of the parents. Yeah, if it's late at night, then it becomes a problem. Somebody's knocking at your door late at night. That's, it's concerning. It just is. One, you're tired. And if you were already asleep, you got to get out of bed. And you don't think straight when you just get out of bed and somebody's ringing your doorbell in the middle of the night. I and One of my neighbors had this happen not too long ago, but he was awake and the people who rang his doorbell didn't know it. And so for whatever reason, he was like standing right by the door and they rang the doorbell and he swung open the door and like caught the kid. And he said he scared the kid so bad that it'll probably never happen again. But yeah. So that was, I don't know, that would that would be pretty creepy on both sides of that story. But uh, I know they've been doing worse things, but after multiple times, it gets annoying. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, there's lots of worse things you could do, but it gets annoying. Late at night is more of a problem than if they're doing it in the middle of the afternoon. I think I did that a few times when I was a kid in the middle of the afternoon. But I probably like did it at my friend's house. And then like... He came out and then I was like, uh, you want to play anyway? <laughs> We're going to play kickball, you know? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, what are we, what are we talking about here? It's, it's quite the morning. Oh, so Dano, any more news on the Panasonic Arc 5? Cause that's the last item in my carousel today. Uh, I would also tell you, Dano, if you don't like the Panasonic Arc 5, you don't need my permission, but you can, you can send it back if you don't like it, if it's not going to work for you. I will take that as input if you have a really thick, big beard, the Panasonic Arc 5 maybe doesn't cut that for you. Uh, haven't shaved with it again yet. Anyhow... Keep me posted on that, Dano, because I don't have a really thick beard. And all of a sudden, my camera got really blurry. And there it is again. And I actually really like the Panasonic Arc 5. But, yeah. So, 
But I do also know when you get different shavers and Panasonic, I'm pretty sure like they say on the shaver box, you have to use it for a couple of weeks before you get used to it, before you really make a decision on it. My, my challenge currently is I have so many different men's electric shavers. I rarely use the same shaver. Uh, I hardly ever use the same shaver twice in a row, but I rarely ever even use the same shaver twice in, you know, in two or three weeks span. <laughs> I'm just changing shaver Every time I shave, it's pretty much with a different shaver. And I don't know if that's going to be good or bad for <laughs> my face over the years. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I try different shavers and they just aren't as smooth and as comfortable as the other one. And then next time I go to shave, I'm like, my face is just irritated. But it has helped know quite a bit about the shavers. Panasonic Art 5. I'm a big fan of this one. But a little bit about my shaving and face style. I'm one of those people that I don't have a super thick beard. I can go, you know, a good, if I get a good shaver, like the Panasonic Art 5, I can probably go three days between all of my shaves. Or with the Braun Series 5 or Series 7 or Series 9, I can go you know, a number of days between my shaves. I'm not one of those people that shaves in the morning and then, you know, I have a beard coming out by dinner time. That's not me. But, and so for me, the Panasonic Arc 5 works great. It is on sale today, 169.23, but I just like it. It's got five cutting surfaces on top of it. There you go. Hey, it zoomed in on it. It does have a sideburn trimmer on the back of it. If you need that, the head flexes back and forth. It rotates front and back. I think it's a good shaver. Uh, I've been happy with it. The configuration I have and the one in the carousel today does include uh, a cleaning station with it that I think I've only used once. So I, because it's a wet dry shaver, I don't use the cleaning station much and maybe I should use the cleaning stations more. I just, I just don't. Uh, and finally for an update on a product I'm working on here, I'm going to go back and highlight the camera, the anchor power comp C302. I believe that's the one I'm on there. I'm still working on a website that's going to help that for some of the products that I talk about, it's gonna help track daily prices on those so that I can know when things really go on good sales and compare it to how long has it been since the price was that good or better. Uh, it's hopefully gonna know, give you a place to where you can go and you can see uh, what products are on sale today based on different categories. I'm just kind of working on that. I thought it would be helpful to have one of those for myself and for other people. So I'm going to continue to work on that. So stay tuned for more news about that in the future. If I want to talk about it too much, I may have to do it off of Amazon though. Everything's going to link back to Amazon. So maybe they won't care, but Amazon says don't send people off of Amazon. And this would be a website of mine off of Amazon. I don't know. I'll have to see what I decide to do with all that. But I've been working on that and trying to get that built and created over the last couple of weeks. It does hit the Amazon API so that I can pull in daily prices. It brings in some of the pictures of those things. It's going to be kind of fun. I, I'm kind of excited about it. So stay tuned for more of that. Before we leave today, I'm going to do another three web camera comparison for everyone here. Logitech G Hub. All right. You got to give me some time to bring all this stuff up.
Got to switch my cameras. I'm still here. I tried to switch my cameras around. It caused a little bit of a problem. There we go. We are back. And let me see what happens if I go to this. So there we have it. I'm I'm trying some things here still and it's it's not going the smoothest. There we go. And that's how I'm going to end it. I see there's a, there is a second double screen right in the middle of the screen. I, I don't know how to solve that one or fix that. Uh, but here we have a comparison. And before I leave, this is what I wanted to tell everybody. These are, this is going to be the wrap up of my web camera comparison here. So depending on what you're looking for in your video view or your video uh, work, whether you want to make videos that just look better for your remote work calls over on that side, I have the J lab Epic cam and that one's on sale today for $84 in the middle here. I have the anchor power comp C three Oh two which is right here in the middle. And that one sits at the price today of $149.99. I've used this one for probably hundreds of live shows. And over on that side is the Logitech MX Brio, sort of the new camera from logitech it's sort of their newer top end web camera and it looks like that i it sits at a price today of 199.99 i do think the logitech mx brio in my opinion has the best picture quality of the three of the cameras here so that's that's my personal opinion on this so uh yeah but I do also think the Logitech MX Brio, they're still working out some of the software bugs in it. And I'm having troubles keeping it focused at the narrow screen. See, it because it keeps, you just saw it there. It went from close up to farther out. It keeps bumping me back to the wider angle view, which I don't like quite as much. And I can't seem to get it to stay in at that center zone. Anyhow, Oh, uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for stopping by the show. I'm Ryan. I talk about remote work gear. I'll be back next week, and we're going to talk more about printers next week. Next week, I, I didn't really plan this until today, but I'm getting two new printers. I got one yesterday, and I'm getting another printer today, and I have my uh, sort of incumbent printer back here. So I'll have some different printers in the office to compare with each other so that'll be kind of fun i guess i have this printer here too uh but that one i use i like because it's red i don't actually use it to print very often all right thanks for tuning in thanks for stopping by everybody i shrunk down my screen and lost track of where i was you ever do that I do.
All right. Daniel says, got to run. Have a good weekend. So thanks everybody for being here. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will be live again on Monday. So stop by for that. Anyhow, have a great weekend and I'm out. Goodbye, folks. I'm going to end myself on Amazon here first. Goodbye, Amazon. Now to the rest of you on uh, LinkedIn or YouTube, have a a great weekend yourself. Uh, Bring your printer questions next week. All right, I'm out. Goodbye, folks. Have a great weekend.